Hey, welcome back to another K-12 Analytics Engineering video. I am Marcos Alcozer, and in this video, I am going to show you how to deploy the EdFi Technology Suite in Google Cloud. I am going to walk you through deploying the EdFi API, ODS, and Admin app. As always, please make sure you hit the like and subscribe button so you are notified of new episodes as they are released. The EdFi API will run in year-specific mode. This sets us up to store multiple years of data, one year per ODS. If you are unfamiliar with the various API modes, I recommend you go back in the channel and watch my video that covers all API modes available to us. The code that I will be using today can be found in GitHub, link provided below in the video's description. All right, so we are gonna start out with three windows open. I've got my GitHub repo that I have linked below. I have a Google Cloud project. So I created a new project, have not done anything with it yet. And then I clicked on Activate Cloud Shell top right, and that gave me my Google Cloud Shell. So I have a terminal down here, and I have an IDE at the top. Let's go to GitHub. I want to click on Code and clone this repo into my Cloud Shell. Perfect, that cloned down, and so I can now hit Open Folder, select the repo, say Open, and here we are, I have the code open and the readme open. Now I'm gonna skip the first two because I already see my project name down here in the terminal. If you do not see your project name on your end, then you're gonna to wanna to run these two. I am going to CD into the new directory, EdFi Google Cloud Deployment, and I'm going to run our first file. So this file enables a bunch of Google Cloud APIs, downloads the database backups, and it creates a service account that we are gonna run the API and admin app under. So I'll copy and paste this command, run that in the terminal, click authorize, and that has finished. So I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna run the second one. So this creates the actual Google Cloud SQL instance and a bunch of databases for us. So I'll go over here and I'll run that command. And when that command finishes, you'll, you'll go back to your Google Cloud screen, refresh the page, you'll see a new resource, your Google Cloud SQL instance. I will click into that. I've got my EdFi ODS, open that up, go to users, select these three dots next to the Postgres user, say change password, go ahead and set that password to something secure. Okay, so now if we go to overview, we are going to be given a connection name that we will use for our next command. So I'll go ahead and copy that, go back to the readme, and we see that there's a command here to run Cloud SQL proxy to actually create a tunnel between my Cloud Shell down here and the Cloud SQL instance. So I will go ahead and copy that, paste that there, replace instance connection name with the instance connection name, run that, Authorize, I've got that open. I'll now click the plus button, open up another cloud shell. And here I will CD back into my EdFi directory. And I have a import ODS data file. So if we look at that, this runs a bunch of import statements in order to import the backups into your newly created databases. And so we are going to run that it's gonna ask you for a password periodically. Just go ahead and enter your Postgres user password as it prompts you. And I'll go ahead and do the rest. All right, so once that finishes, you have all of your databases seeded. Our next step is to create a secret. This is going to be called ODS password and will store the password for your Postgres user. So I'll go over to my Google Cloud project, go down to security, open up secret manager, and click create secret. I'm going to name this ODS-password, and I'm going to enter in the password that I set for my Postgres user, and click create secret. The next thing that it has me do is edit the permissions of the secret to grant secret manager secret accessor to the service account uh, that we created back in step one. So in order to find that service account, we actually have to go into I am an admin service accounts. It will be called EdFi Cloud Run, but yours is gonna have a slightly different 
suffix after that. So we'll go ahead and copy the email, go back to our secret, go to permissions, and we are going to add that account and it is called Secret Manager Secret Accessor. So this allows this account to actually access the secret, the value that's stored in the secret. All right, we are gonna switch gears now and talk about the EdFi API. So this involves only running one command, but inside of the bash file, a few things are happening. So we are running a gcloud command to actually build an image and push that to the container registry inside of the project. We're granting a few more permissions to that service account. And then we are actually deploying a Google Cloud Run service. So this Google Cloud Run service is configured to have a connection to our Cloud SQL instance. It has a specific number of virtual CPUs and memory, and this you can change uh, if you need more. It allows for a secret to be accessed, the one that we gave uh, the service account access to. And so let's go to the readme and let's run that. All right, so when that finishes, Google is going to give us the service URL. So if I control click on that, that is going to open up the cloud run service. And here we have a bunch of information on our EdFi deployment. So we can see the actual technology version that we are running. Uh, we can see that we're running it in year specific mode. We can see the data model version, and then we can see a bunch of URLs around accessing things like dependencies, OAuth, the data management URL. We can also jump over to our Google Cloud platform, go to the menu, scroll down to Cloud Run, and we can see our service here. So if I drill in and I go under revisions, on the right, we're gonna see a bunch of things that were in that command that we ran. So we set an environment variable, we gave access to a secret that was exposed to the Cloud Run service as an environment variable, and we have our connection to our Cloud SQL instance. All right, admin app time. So this is another single command, but inside of the bash file, we are building another image, this time for the admin app, and we are deploying a second Google Cloud Run service. So let's go over to the readme. Let's copy that command, let's paste it. And with this command, you want to replace the Google Cloud Run EdFi API URL with the actual API URL. And you can find that just so you know, back on your project, uh, your Cloud Run service and the URL. So we copy that. All right, so when that command finishes, Google will give you a URL to the new service. And if I go to Cloud Run, then I see the EdFi admin app service. And if I control click, I can get to my admin app now. And that's really it. You have now deployed a production implementation of the EdFi technology suite. So you have your API and admin app in Google Cloud Run that is going to scale to zero when it's not being used, and it's gonna scale as big as it needs to depending on traffic. You now have a Cloud SQL instance where the storage is going to increase as necessary, and you can also click into it and just throw more virtual CPUs and memory as needed. You can go into the admin app, create an application and a vendor. You'll be given a key and secret that you can give to your ad tech vendors, and you're off to the races.